Welcome back, everybody, to our playthrough of Super Mario RPG Armageddon. You may remember last time I said we had just finished up the cake battle, um, and now all is at peace in Marymore, and hey, let's kind of have our picture taken, why not? One, two... Hey, you there! <laughs> why the long face? It's not like you're a horse or something. Say... Ah! <laughs> I assume that was a good picture. Okay, whatever. So yeah, we beat up the cake. Uh, we finished Booster's storyline. And if you go out this way, Peach will say... The Chancellor's waiting, we have to go back. Um, I think you actually have to go that way first and say okay before you go this way. And now this scene happens. Why couldn't we hop over all those to begin with? That would have made getting here a lot easier. And we wouldn't have had to go on that big long excursion and fight a bunch of terrible enemies. But whatever. So yeah, now we're taking Toadstool, or Peach, rightfully called in this hack, thank you, Dark Kefka, back to her home, and the Chancellor is all going to be excited, and he's not going to drop his spores, or whatever he said. Um, yeah, yeah, it's been a true nightmare, I'm sure. Like the thousand other times Peach has been kidnapped. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're always to thank, of course, because we did so much. And, and I'm really just... You must tell me one thing. How on earth can you trust Bowser? <laughs> what are you talking about? Now, I would s skip through most of this story, but this is a funny scene. <laughs> what are you doing with... They can't comprehend. What's going on here? Now, up, uh, freak out! It gets! Did I make the joke last time about the um the Tall Tales video we were shown as kids in school? How they showed the stories of like Pecos Bill and Paul Bunyan and uh, John Henry and then Casey Jones, and in that part of the video, they'd always say, IGADS! when something bad was happening. Um, but here Bowser has a moral dilemma that Mallow has to console him for some reason. But this is really long exposition, and I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty boring. It tells us literally everything we've already known and seen, <laughs> and that's a great face. Mario impersonating Exor. Um, so it's just kind of like whatever. <laughs> Decided to take a vacation. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, Bowser's stretching the truth. Eh, I'm a, I'm a mind reader. I'm a mind reader. No, I'm just kidding. So, da, 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 this story is really quite boring. I wish we could skip right through it. If only we were on an emulator that would let us fast forward. If only such a thing could exist, but dreadfully it does not. So I have to keep hitting and I'll be waiting for this cutscene to end so I can progress with the game. But I still have a lot of story to get through before. We get back to fighting more enemies, possibly more important ones, but probably not. Bowser has a derp face after his internal dilemma. That scene really did. That song really did not work, but I care not. So yeah, Peach sure is not coming with us. Nope. She's not going to be on our excursion. Nope. Nope. Not at all. There is no way that Peach is going to fight with us. And yes, Chancellor, thank you for... I'm going to call you Captain Obvious because I knew I had to beat Smithy up. Jeez. Um... 
is that? But I saw this toad just go in there like that. Oh, that 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 was peculiar. I guess the armory isn't open yet. Whatever. I don't, I don't think it opens up again. Is what I was what I meant to say. So, yep. Peach sure is not coming with us. Good luck, Mario. Yeah, thanks. Can I touch your XXX again, or your tampon, or tapoons? I guess not. So yeah, Peach is 100% absolutely not, do you hear me, I mean it, coming with us. Not in any way. Oh my god, I could not have foreseen this. <laughs> yeah, I mean... And she just tosses the parasol away. Thanks. I mean, you didn't want to use that as a weapon at all or anything. So yeah, that was her impersonator. Her grandma? I guess? I mean, that's what she just said a little while ago, so it's like... Yeah, pay attention to this. You have to ask Grandpa. You have to go talk to Frog Fuchsius. You have to. Yes, you have to. And if you don't, you cannot progress. And it sucks. So be sure you go do it. That that little bit of dialogue was very easy to miss. I cannot... Oh, wait, no. Didn't mean to go there. Um, I cannot stress that enough. You do have to go to Tadpole Pond. And the odd thing is, it's so brief. So we're going over here, we're going over here. Yeah, give these Tadpoles concussions again, because who gives a fuck? And we talk to him. I have the latest news from inside on Star Hill. Also, I don't know what called. Muggers. Ah, yes. That is important, okay. But in the main game, in the unhacked version, you just go to him and says, there's a star on Star Hill, and that's it. Like, he doesn't say anything else. So if you don't go and say that, we have 35 frog coins. What can we get with that? Uh, nothing that's terribly important. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, could get more elixirs. I'm a little low on coins. If I grind later, I'll come back. But yeah, I find it odd that they make it like you have to do that or else you can't progress. It's rather... I guess I wouldn't say unnecessary, but, you know, it's just curious. Oh! I didn't even show... Um, okay. I'm gonna see if I can show it real quick. When we hit the switch and booster tower to open up... Like, we, we just hit a switch, just for the hell of it. Well, it opened up something on booster pass. Wonder if I can get back to it. And now that we're higher level, if we accidentally run into these enemies, it should not matter. Or try to not anyway. Yeah, this is what it opens. And he may not be here... Yes! Okay. This sniff it? You gotta be careful. Fi shit. Well, it wasn't that fun. Um, anyways, like I was saying, you have to be careful fighting this guy. Um, if you remember when we fought the Sniffit the one time in Booster's Tower and I didn't fight the other two, and I don't think I can now, but that doesn't matter. Um, this, this guy's hard, and we're not gonna fight him just yet. We get these three treasures. Why not? Holy Crystal, that's really nice. Holy Stone, I think that might even be nicer. Uh, okay. So if we fight this guy, his name is Apprentice for some reason. Yeah. We start fighting him immediately. And that! <laughs> okay, I... The last time I played through this hack, I remember fighting that this guy. I don't remember him doing that much damage to Gino. Dark Kefka, I don't know if you boosted the Apprentice's attack or anything, but... Jesus. Yeah, so we're obviously not gonna win this fight, but I'll try my damnedest. Shit. My audio might be desynced with the game. Whatever. Yeah... 
This, this is pretty terrible. <laughs> it's rather comical, I'll admit. Um, I'm gonna try and see what a snowy does to him. I bet two to one says he's gonna resist it. I fucking knew it. Annihilated is an understatement there. So yeah, quite literally, he goes and becomes Sniffit number four, and if you go in Booster Tower, I may or may not show this, um, you actually see him standing somewhere near the top of the tower, um, and he says it, yeah, I'm Sniffit number four, I'll wear it proudly, or some shit like that. I have no idea what you'd get if you'd win. I'd be curious to see that, but... Whatever. So yeah, now Star Hill. It's got the peaceful music. Um, the way this works, um, yeah, you talk to the flowers. And if you just talk to the flowers, okay. Yeah, this leads us back to Marymore because this is not an exit back, and we don't need to go there. Now, somewhere along the lines here, we are going to run into a mugger, as they stated. Um, and if they are as hard as Frog Fuchsia said, I do actually want to show it, because it'll be funny, to say the least. Um, and, yeah, we have new enemies, so... Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, show this enemy here. Now, this is the first time we see all of these enemies. these... Oh, jeez, I forgot. Yeah, that's why we have... Blah, 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 blah. Forgot entirely about that, so it doesn't heal you after your fight with the Apprentice. Remember that. And that was probably not the best method of healing, but... Yeah, that was definitely not the best... Oh, wait. I say I have no more syrups, but I got that, so whatever. Um, so we'll just go ahead and see what we can do. Honestly, these enemies aren't that hard. They're just kind of annoying. Yeah. Gino just takes his usual... Oh. Now you... Oh, I guess he didn't get poisoned last time because he was already dead. So we'll see how much Gecko takes more than 200 more than 300 okay come on snowy do your work come on snowman with fez oh yeah and moles throw bombs what you do oh god well can't say I expected anything different. Yes, Muku Muku, that's our real name. Uh, okay, so it looks like they... Do they all take 500? Why am I not surprised? For the record, geckos are immune to electricity. At least that's what I'm taking away from that attack. And now it's almost dead. Okay, it's 500 for each. Now, we need Geno. Geno, Gino, tomato, potato, tomato, potato. Yeah, throw it right at Gino right when I bring him back. I, I, I love that. Are they weak to ice? Yay, verily. Okay, so... Those are Mukumukus and Geckos. Oh, man, I didn't do enough. Surprised? I most certainly am not. Looks like I might need to do some leveling off screen. <laughs> oh, good, good news is they give you a lot of coins. So, yeah, that's the last fight we'll show of those guys. I hate to have used that right there, but it's almost necessary. Effective against undead monsters. Yeah, holy stone. If I find a ghost, I'll show what it does. And these are wishes! That's right. 
And it's fun sometimes to guess who they are, and sometimes they tell you, like this one. Of course, who'd you think it was? <laughs> who do you think you are? Spying on other people's wishes. Yeah, you're embarrassed. I would be too. What the fuck? Oh god. I forgot that these things just sprout out of the ground. Don't know if I kept that bit of, uh, silliness. But yeah, when you're walking around here- Oh god, oh god! A lot of oh god going on. So apparently these things like to spring out of the ground, the mukumukus, and I, for whatever reason, have a knack for running right into them. Oh, not mugger! No, oh, God! Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Thank you, Mario. So, yes. We cannot flee. And, yes. He does almost kill us, all of us, at once. And, yes. This fight sucks. I don't know how weak he is to magic, so let's find out, baby! Weak enough. Oh, God. Four thousand... One hundred... And seventy-six damage. I remember reading something about how... Uh, Dark Kefka explaining why some things do so much. But right now, the reasoning escapes me, so... Great fucking Scott. So he does counterattack. Scott! 2,000! Why? Uh... uh. Okay, Gino. Do your worst. And your worst was not enough. So yeah, thanks for watching me fail. <laughs> um, I'll cut to when we're actually... Oh, I'm not going through all those scenes again, okay. Yeah, I'll cut to... being further along in Star Road. Or not running into enemies and I'll be restocked. So yeah, be right back. Word to the wise, step lightly. I think some of these muggers are triggered to come at you when you step in certain places. And sometimes they come horizontally or diagonally like that. Maybe they don't actually do that, but it looks like they do. Jeez. And I can't beat them. I just, I just can't. Not right now. I'd have to grind some more, which I don't want to do right now. I, I'm, I'm doing fine in the, the game itself. Yeah. I know I'll have to grind at some point, but I don't want to have to, again, I don't want to do it right now. There'll come a time for that. It's not right now. Could be looking at more of these wishes, though. Yeah, I wonder who that could be. Ooh. Just missed that one. Okay, that door opened. Huh. V what could a Vald class baker entail, I wonder? For those of you who watch the Food Network, sounds like Chef Tort should try out to be on Sweet Genius. Am I right? Am I right? I hope I didn't just go through the other door again. Be one way to find out if I did or not. Oh, hey! So yeah, the um, star's just sitting there, floating along. Good thing there's nobody around. Nobody who could possibly take the star. I guess we'll just go ahead and let it float there, take, it, take its sweet time. You know, not worry about it possibly being grabbed out of the blue by somebody else. Maybe one of those muggers would come along and steal it. Okay, it was just our good luck. <laughs> Again, I find it odd. Like, I get it. A star on Star Hill. It, In my mind, it makes perfect sense, but we got that for nothing. Truly enough, we did fight a lot of bosses already. Um, 
and we thought fought the cake and the uh, and we could have fought booster and it was a sort of long side quest I guess but still I find it it was just weird that it was just sitting there but what do I know and now we just have to not get hit by a mugger again jeez those things piss me off like I get angry when I run into them because they're so freaking hard like, I could handle the, um, bandits, but these guys are just... Like, it's intense how they, at the start of your encounter with them, he throws three daggers, one at each of your people. It just, ugh. So yeah, now we go to Seaside Town. Hmm. Sounds like suspicious music or dreary music, but it looks perfectly normal. Well, it's bright and green, and there are shops and everything. I guess we can stop in and see what we can improve on. Well, these are weird-looking toads, aren't they? You're not being helpful. Okay. Maybe I can buy stuff at a... Okay, why are you standing up there? Yeah, something about these toads is off. Hmm. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. He's mesmerized by the mushrooms. I don't know if that dialogue was originally in the game or not. But yeah, these toads are odd. Um. <laughs> okay. Wait, really? That's their gimmick? Okay, yeah, the other one already told me about Jonathan Jones. Thanks for wasting my time. Oh, yeah, you're clearly just a customer. Oh, wow, we can actually buy... Oh! Hello, Dolly. Looks like we can buy bombs. That is good to remember for later. But not right now, because I don't have a lot of money. You're not welcome. I didn't buy anything. Okay. Um, so yeah, something is off about these villagers. If you know the story, you know what it is. If not, I won't spoil it. Let's just say the village elder has something to do with it. And his name is Elder, apparently. I am the elder of this village. Well, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm gonna go find it. And this guy's just chilling here. It's a frog. Reading a book. Drinking... Tea? Maybe coffee? Probably tea. Yes, this is... I didn't meet you at Tadpole Pond, and I did not spend nearly long enough for you to have grown up and graduated from Frog Fuchsia's school. Yeah. But this guy is incredibly useful, because he has things he likes to sell! Like, awesome stuff! For a lot of gold... for a lot of, uh... frog coins. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Noise indicates a hidden chest. Um, that'd be useful, except there's already a guide online that can tell us about all the hidden chests, which I will do later eventually. Experience booster, exactly what it says. Coin trick, exactly what it says. Ribbon is pretty cool. Hopefully I'll get that. Tetra ring, <laughs> I like that. Guards against elements, that's a... That's going to be helpful later. I'm going to get all these eventually. That's a lot of frog, uh, frog coins, though. Raises defense and magic defense. That's good. Aura ring. Raises power. Okay. Uh, white robe. Increases the magic. Increases the attack power. Hmm. I feel like I want one of these right now. I'm going to take a poll. All right. Who thinks I should get the brave suit? Who thinks I should get the white robes? I will take this poll in five seconds. Alright, it's a brave suit. Yeah, so... I have a brave suit now. And it's gonna go on... Mario! Ooh! Mm -mm, I love that! That is awesome. Okay. So Mario's the main man right now. 
And that is quite enough for this segment. That has been mostly story. Next time, we will start out in the sea. Hey, I like this music. Um, so yeah, next time it'll be action and adventure. And hopefully we'll get through a lot of cool stuff. I'm uh, not sure how much as of right now. But we've been making good progress, and we're going to continue it next video. So until next time, everybody, thank you for watching. See you all later.